So in this first example, I've got two on the outside of the parentheses, and that really means that I'm multiplying. So it's two times that quantity x plus five. I wanna start by distributing that two by the x. When I do that, I'm gonna do two times x. So I get two x, and then I'm gonna do my next distribution and distribute that two to the positive five. I'm gonna go ahead and bring down that plus sign. So it's gonna be plus, two times the five. I've got just a little bit of simplifying to do. I've got the two X and that one is great. And then two times five is equal to 10. And that's my simplified answer. Here comes the next one. So in this next one, I wanna both distribute cause I've got the group with the parenthesis and I'm gonna combine some like terms cause I've got the negative A on the outside. Now I wanna focus on just the distribution part first First, where I've got that 2a times the parenthesis. So let's go ahead and leave that negative a off to the side. I wanna take that 2a on the outside and multiply it inside those parentheses. So starting with 2a times a, so 2a times a, and then I'm gonna distribute it onto that plus three. So I'm gonna write my plus sign and then 2a times three, and I still have that minus a on the end. Now, as I'm simplifying, I wanna go ahead and multiply the like values together. So I've got an a times an a, that's gonna become an a squared. So I've got two a squared plus, in the next term, I've got a two and a three. So I'm gonna multiply the two times the three together. I'm just moving things around so the same kind of values are next to each other. So the two times the three is six, and I've got the a there as well, and then I have the minus a on the outside. Now that I'm done distributing, let's go ahead and combine like terms with the negative a there on the end. So I've got a 6a and I wanna subtract 1a. I can do the six minus one, telling me I've got five a's left. So that gives me my simplified answer of 2a squared plus 5a. In this one, I've got a three Y out in front and then minus the parentheses that quantity Y minus two. I again wanna focus just on the distribution. So I'm gonna ignore the three Y to start and do the negative times the Y minus two. So I wanna start by distributing that negative times the Y, but I'm gonna think of that negative as a negative one times. Let's go ahead and do that first distribution. I'm just gonna write the three Y but that first distribution is a negative one times y, or you could just write that as negative y. My second distribution is negative one, negative one, and I'm gonna use parenthesis for times negative two. Let's go ahead and simplify what we've got. So I still have that three y out in front, negative one times y, I can write that as negative one y or just negative y. And then negative one times negative two is positive two. Now I can combine some like terms. I've got three y's and I'm subtracting one. So I can go ahead and do three minus one, which leaves me with two y's. So I've got two y plus two, and that's our simplified answer. Here comes our last one. This one is our challenge problem, and our challenge problem looks like this. It's got a couple of different things going on. I've got a 2x squared minus x times the quantity x plus three. This is where in the middle where my distribution lives, and then that plus three on the end. I'm gonna challenge you to do this one, simplifying the expression by doing distribution first and then combining like terms second. So you can pause here or you can follow along with me. If you're following along with me, I'm gonna start by ignoring those two terms on the ends and I'm gonna distribute that negative x inside the parentheses. So as I'm doing this work, I'm actually gonna write that two x squared and let's go ahead and do the distribution. So I've got negative x times x. Now you could go ahead and write this right off the bat as negative x squared. I'm just gonna leave it as negative x times x. And then let's go ahead and do our next distribution, which is negative x times three, so negative x times three. I'm gonna clean everything up here in a minute, and I've got that plus three x on the end. Okay, so continuing to simplify what I've got in the middle there. I still have my two x squared. 
x times x is also x squared. So I've got negative x squared. You can also think of that as a negative one times x squared. And then I've got that negative x times three. Now when we write a multiplication of a number times a variable, we're always gonna write that number first. So I'm gonna rewrite this as negative three x, and then on the end, I've got that plus three x. Now we're ready to combine like terms. So let's go ahead and include those outer terms and combine what we've got that are similar. So I've got these x squared terms. I've got two of them and I'm taking away one of them. That leaves me with one x squared and you can write it as one x squared or you can just get rid of the one because one is implied. And then I've got the negative 3x plus 3x. If I add those numbers, those coefficients together, negative 3 plus 3 is 0. So these cancel each other out, and my answer is the x squared. How did you do? I'll bet you did great. Take a look at my very next video on one-step equations. Thanks so much for watching.